Alec, how how old are you? I'm uh, 16. You're 16. Okay. Yep. So, um, you're pretty politically involved, you know, for, for a 16 year old. How did you first get involved with politics? Well, I've actually kind of always been involved, like my parents and my uh, family used to always talk about it, but I didn't really get involved until about six months ago when I started watching the debates. And I find it really interesting and I started uh, reading up on InfoWars about everything that's going on and then something just sparked and I decided to become politically active. Mm -hmm. I really don't know how it actually happened though. So, um, so you were influenced by Ron Paul, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, Ron Paul. Okay. He really helped me out, uh, learn about the Federal Reserve and all the corruption taking place. What kind of political environment does, does your family have? Uh, well, many, when I say my family, is pretty much, uh, my oldest sister and my grandpa, he, uh, they both, uh, helped out with the Ron Paul campaign in 2008. We're here in uh, the Bay Area, they were uh, doing the sign holding events in the street corners and uh, the local grassroots promotion for Ron Paul. And uh, that's how I became more politically active, is with them participating in all the Ron Paul events. So you live in California now, right? All uh, right, yeah. Well, I can clarify that. Quick. I was actually born here in California and I, uh, oh. I moved up to Washington for about four years and uh, I consider that my home because. Uh, Washington and the Northwest is just a really beautiful place and full of activities. But then I moved down here uh, four years later, like about 2010, and I've lived here since then. You edit the website weare1776.org. How did that first get started? Well, I started, uh, I think, in the early part of June, and that started after I had a website before that, and it was called Awake and Resist, and that was just like a basic blog. And then I decided after making that website to uh, create a, an organization, pretty much a bigger website that would be, I guess you could say, known across the world as spreading the message of truth and liberty. And that's uh, how I created We Are 1776. It was just a little inspiration I had. Cool. So um, the name We Are 1776, what, what exactly does that mean? What does that symbolize? Well, uh... Of course, 1776 is when the uh, colonists rebelled and revolted against the uh, British government and uh, became an independent nation after that. And I think of this liberty movement as the second American Revolution, I guess, more of an intellectual one than a violent one. Mm -hmm. Very much. Cool. In the name, We Are 1776, it kind of uh, brings to mind the, the catchphrase, we are the 99%. Um, do you have, what do you think of the Occupy movement? The Occupy movement? I have uh, a not an unpopular belief about it. I don't really agree with it, but I agree with them uh, using their First Amendment rights to protest something they believe in, but I think it's kind of a, a socialistic movement. What do you, what do you think of President Obama? How do you feel about his presidency? President Obama. Um, I feel pretty negatively about him. I uh, don't like him at all. Really, he's uh, unconstitutional. He's pretty much a tyrant and uh, has uh, pretty much abolished his, the whole constitution under his uh, presidency with the extension of the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act and uh, the new Affordable Care Act. All of those examples and the endless amount of executive orders and executive, uh, the, the signing statements he does, uh, really unconstitutional. It's a hallmark of a dictator. Anyways, so I don't think positively of Obama. I strongly dislike him. I think he needs to be out of office, and all the bankers who control the U.S. government should be uh, arrested. That's pretty much I feel about that. What to you is the most imminent political issue? What really gets you motivated to um, engage in the info war like you do? Uh, I think it's, as I said, the constitutional rights being violated by the uh, government, our government, which has really just been hijacked by a bunch of banking criminals and the globalists, I guess you could say. And it really motivates me to, uh, to really fight in this info war because I'm tired of seeing our constitutional rights being violated by people who have complete disregard for them 
and just have no interest in say or keeping America the way it was. They just have interest for the money and their greed and power and control. That's what really motivates me. What what tips or advice do you have to other people who want to get involved, whether it's with you know writing for a website or getting involved politically in you know an actual political system? What advice do you have for those who feel like they don't have the necessary skills, they don't have enough time, or they're too young. Um, what would you say to them? Well, I would just say uh, that you should probably become a first issue before you would start writing. And you really, if you want to like become part of the resistance and be politically active, you should really definitely have a passion for it. And, uh, definitely be angry about what's going on because you just don't want to do it for the, uh, for the heck of it and not have real reason to do it. You really want to be passionate about what you're doing. And uh, I don't think there's really an age requirement for it. I mean, of course, I wouldn't see a six-year-old out there at an Occupy protest <laughs> with the police out there. But uh, And for the time thing, I guess if you don't have a lot of time to do anything, I guess sharing articles and, on Facebook and Twitter is the best way to reach out and uh, spread the information because that's the new way we're getting all the information out is because we have the capability to make things viral like that with all the share buttons. So that's probably the best way to do it if you don't have a lot of time and the resources to do something else, like uh, go on the street and interview people, but I think the big thing is sharing articles and information and telling other people about it in person, like your family members. Mm -hmm. Speaking of viral articles, you recently um, posted some pictures from the Olympics opening ceremony that were quite interesting. Do you want to talk more about that? Oh yeah, the, uh, the, the, the what it looks like to me, the mum, the fried baby. It looked like a dead baby to me. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. My teacher was talking to me about that earlier today. How he said it was really creepy and how they could have, uh, for an opening ceremony for the Olympics, they could have picked two more kids. They could have picked a whole new opening ceremony that was a lot more peaceful and not about uh, death and babies and hospital beds. And I find that yeah. whole thing really interesting. Yeah, that Grim Reaper looking one. I guess that was supposed to be Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter. Um, yep. My friend told me that, and, and my question was, oh, cool, so was Harry Potter there too, you know? She was like, no, it was just, just him. It's like, okay, why have only the most evil person? Right, that's what I was saying. They could have picked, I don't know, Alice from Alice in the Wonderland, but they had to pick Voldemort, the most corrupt person in Lord of the Rings. Or I know. Movie that's from. And it looked like he was, like, waving a wand over a bunch of kids yeah, like little beds. Was, uh, blessing them with some sort of satanic ritual or something. Yeah. So you are editing the we are 1776.org and also writing for it. Um, what other projects are you currently working on? Uh, I have two main projects. and One's that uh, the We the People Network youth chapter I started. And uh, I'm actually running it right now after uh, I got delegated that job from uh, Lynn Nichols, the executive director. She wanted me to uh, run that whole thing because uh, I guess she liked the work I was doing with We Are 1776, and she wanted me to reach out to my uh, other youth and high school students. And uh, my second project I'm working on is uh, the speeches I have for the speech competitions uh, late this year and uh, early next year. For, uh, Veteran of Foreign War and uh, Fleet Reserve Association. Those are my uh, two main projects for right now. Awesome. Can you tell a little bit more about the uh, We Are the People network? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much a social networking site, and uh, they gather partners under the site, and it's just it's a big uh, community of liberty-loving people, pretty much. <laughs> and we have little chapters like the youth chapter and uh, everything else. Like we are changed pretty much, just like that. Okay, well I think that does it. All right, sweet. Okay, it was really cool talking to you. Yeah, well, good talking to you too.